Welcome back to another episode of Excuse My Grandma. It's Kim and my co-host, Grandma Gail. Valentine's Day is right around the corner. I know. It's such a bunch of hype. I know. I went to the market today and I, I went and bought cards. I mean, there were thousands of beautiful cards for the first time because I don't like to do it on my uh, phone with all those mechanical ones. So I like the actual paper cards. So uh, actually, Hallmark should give me a... Uh, give me a promo because I, I love their cards. Um, what do you think is more hyped up, New Year's or Valentine's? Well, I, I, I think New Year's is something that is really an event. Valentine's Day started out as a religious holiday that we've made into a commercial holiday uh, about love. Mm -hmm. I think it was originally... You know the funny thing? I think Valentine's Day is almost a bigger deal when you're single than when you're in a relationship. Because when you're in a relationship, you're like... Oh, yeah, it'll be a nice thing. We'll celebrate when your Valentine's Day. It's like impending doom when you're single. Well, I think that's what people shouldn't do. I think this is a mindset that's wrong. Um, I think if you're going to have a Valentine's Day, which everybody likes to have a little chocolate, a little bit of flowers sent to, to themselves or to a friend or to a loved one, uh, don't make it the end all day. It's not like the, the uh, starting of the world. Um, I would almost say that if you're single, which uh, I'm sure more than 50% of our audience and population is today, uh, they should make it a day for themselves to make the day a happy day. Go get a, um, I don't know, a, a manicure. Go treat yourself to a strawberry margarita at lunch with a friend. Um, don't make it all about this an overwhelming love affair that you have with the day of Valentine's Day, being a sweetheart and your love is forever. I mean, it's such a bunch of commercial stuff. Yeah. I like it. I think it's a nice gesture. Um, but I think it's equally nice just to make it a day that we can meet with somebody I really like, whether it be a male companion, a female companion, your children, something that could be just a nice thing to do and celebrate together, yeah. even if you make a chocolate cake for your family and put a red candle uh, on top of it. It's Valentine's Day. It's fun. You blow out a candle, say, Happy Valentine's Day, and everybody get a piece of cake. That sounds brutal. <laughs> I See, I think it sounds good. Because you're I in a happy relationship. There's something that happens to single people when Valentine's comes around. It's like seasonal well, depression. Much pressure. Yeah, you put too much pressure on yourself. No, I said seasonal depression. Well, they, if, you know, if you get depressed over this, what happens if, uh, if the world fa falls apart, which it has done the yeah. last 18 to months to two years. Well, right. So this is our second Valentine's Day episode that That's we've true. done because right, it was our third ever episode last year when we started when the we podcast. started the podcast well we've come a long way we're now ticking and talking so yes <laughs> well we we also were doing some valentine's day related tiktok videos this week with valentine's day Those outfits you can wear right. gifts that you can get from amazon and wait till you see what we baked <laughs> we made some pink pancakes for Valentine's Day. They were very, t very cute and delicious. Yeah, we're getting very. That creative was easier with our than cooking. I thought. But you were good at carving out the strawberry. Yeah, that was very good. It was a very little cute thing. So put that on TikTok this week so people can can look at it and copy it because if, if we can do it, anybody can do this. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, so I also th is it the third Valentine's Day during COVID? Or second? Uh, so it was 2020, January. This is the third. Right. The 20th, the 21st, and now the 22nd. This is the third COVID thing. So I bet most people have been, for two years, certainly, they were not even with their loved ones in many cases. They couldn't see their families. They were really very isolated. So I think this year now that Omicron is sort of quieting down, hopefully a little bit, and people have gotten there vaccines and boosters that you'll be able to celebrate a little bit with with somebody i bet more valentine's dates will be in the home this year than out well certainly in the north we east and in the midwest where it's been so bitter cold yeah. i think people are hunkering down inside uh, around a fire um and and celebrating however mm -hmm. they can but i think we have to put less emphasis on the gift and more and and uh, more about being together whether it be with family or with a loved person mm -hmm. or a new boyfriend or girlfriend or a partner of any sort i think 
we have to sort of love each other mm -hmm. and that should be the theme and if you do want to get someone a gift like for example in our amazon video we picked out like slippers or well, the ones with the hearts were adorable yeah little, yeah or like what else did we do like well, small we, like a like we did funny a little body lotion yeah, yeah we did a like body lotion that was very good that could go for a man or a woman yeah like self-care kind of things right. or like even you know those red pajamas like something like that I think it's more. It should be fun gifts. Yeah. I think, I, I think we first of all, the economy is in such a state. I think we shouldn't be spent. You know, if if you don't have the means, you shouldn't worry about it. Just make do a little something small. Mm -hmm. It could be even a little. Uh, I don't know, a red chocolate heart that you buy in the supermarket with a balloon on top. That's really fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. It's the thought. And I think that's what we have to get back to, the kindness. There's this meme. You know what a meme is? Yes, what I do know is? what a meme is. That it says everything is fine, but then there's like a fire in the background, <laughs> and they're like, well, I think that's probably true. I think yeah. it is a fire on. Everybody's getting a little too tense too, and I think we have to chill out. Yeah. Okay. So let's get. So I was googling. Yeah. Ideas for Valentine's Day okay. in 2022. Okay. Both for when you're in a couple and when you're single. Okay. Um. You know, to celebrate or like to not celebrate things you can do to stay busy. Whatever. Okay. So I guess tell me how you feel about these ones. With a couple, you could cook or bake together. Okay. But I liked the idea of making something like that you don't like out of your comfort zone, like pizza or sushi, like something that's kind of an activity. Yeah, that's good. I, I'm into now doing colorful things. I think we should do, as long as we're celebrating, it should be all in the red and the pink family. Well, pizza's red. Pizza's red. That's true. And sushi could be red if you do it with salmon, I guess, or tuna. Yeah. Sort of. Let's do a theme. <laughs> yeah. Have a theme, uh, a theme look. I think I uh, might go back to my mother's making Jello <laughs> I, I, with little marshmallows in it. I okay. think I might want to try that recipe again. I liked it growing up. No one eats Jello anymore. It's very healthy for you. It no, makes it's your not. nails grow long. It's the worst for you. It it's is? Ke it's chemicals. Oh, I like it. I love chemicals. <laughs> um, okay, well, I think you can. Another thing they said, like, is to play a game. Well, I'm not into games, but I guess if, if you're a young couple or maybe even an old couple, it might be fun. I, I think mean, it would unless have it's to spin the bottle. I mean, right. What, what, what like, you, what kind it's of not games? sexy to play Monopoly. No. <laughs> no, I don't think you should play something like that. There's, there's fun games, I okay. think, that I don't okay. really know them. But um, make a scrapbook together. Oh, well, that's if you've got a girlfriend. Yeah, this is more serious because you're not going to, like, put pictures of. Right. Uh, it would uh, be of, of the somebody two of you. Is somebody you've only gone out with three <laughs> times. I don't think we need to make Here's a Here's your hinge picture <laughs> next <laughs> to my hinge picture. Yeah, exactly. I liked make playlists for each other. Oh, that's nice. So, like, on Spotify, you, like, choose a bunch of songs that makes you think of the other person, and then you share it with them. <laughs> I have to tell you, I have not one song that I can think about for anybody. You should make Poppy a playlist. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he can't even hear that. Dun, so. dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Nobody would better wait for me to do anything like that because I completely have no imagination uh, about making anything creative. I really don't. I really like the fact that if you could go to a little restaurant and order just a nice, pleasant dinner, have a glass of wine or not. Yeah. Um, I think that's the best way to celebrate I think it. a wine tasting is fun. That is fun. Cheese I, tasting, chocolate tasting. Yeah, that's good. Oh, I would actually love that. I don't know yeah. who does that anymore. Because well, you could do it yourself. Like buy yeah, you'd have to do it yourself because I don't think you can have people touching uh, your different assortments of chocolate anymore. Yeah, I'm not uh, sure. Yeah, I think that might be not, not a COVID activity. Okay, let's move on to being single on Valentine's Day because that I have quite the experience. <laughs> You're not that old, sweetheart, so you don't have that many Valentine's Day that you have to go into a morose period about. But I think that uh, if you're single, y you should make it light. There are other people who are single as well. well that's so the thing. Do you either pretend it's not Valentine's Day? No, there's no reason to pretend. You don't pretend it's not Christmas if you don't get a Christmas gift right. or a Hanukkah gift or, a, 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 I guess, a Chinese New Year gift. I mean, this is silly. I mean, you, you have friends that are also single. And make it make a dinner with them. Not mm. the whole world is coupled off. And um, you know what? 
eating a eating a um a meal with somebody you really like yeah. who's a friend is, is equally you can try a new restaurant yeah. you can like do take out eat a bunch of candy watch a rom-com bake um, do a self care night. Well, that's the most fun. Yeah. Do a day of beauty with your girlfriend, with your bestie, mm-hmm. and I think that's that would be my best Valentine. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, like a spa day. A spa day. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I would say don't go on social media on Valentine's Day. Well, I think people tend to be mean on social media for these things. Uh, well, no, that's not why. Well, why? Why? Because I'm um, so I would open up Instagram and see everybody's stories, which is like what they post um, that goes away after 24 hours. That's more of a just like I'm at this right now. They update their life more so yeah, than just a picture. But there are only picture. a few people that do that. No, every single person who they has make an Instagram, lies. They make lies. No, they, no, no. You just post what you're. You just take a video. Well, let's say of they're where not doing are. anything. Then they're not posting anything. <laughs> that's what but I'm saying to you. But most people post throughout the day. Right. And or on the weekends or if they have you're especially going to take to social media if your boyfriend cooked you a cute dinner and you're going to take a picture of it and post it on your story. So on Valentine's Day, it's going to be a lot of pictures of couples doing fun things and you're going to open Instagram and feel like shit. If that's if you feel that strongly about it, then you shouldn't then you definitely shouldn't go on social media. To me, it wouldn't matter to me. I wouldn't care. I would hope they enjoy it and let them. Yeah, it's not like I'm like, oh, I hope they're not happy. Like, you want people to be happy. It just makes you think like, oh, they're doing these nice things. Okay. And like, okay. I don't know. I would say don't open the app. Okay. I think that could be a smart move. You know, I also, Kimmy, was thinking what would be a really nice gesture on Valentine's Day. I don't even know what day of the week it is. Uh, is it on a, Does it fall on a Tuesday or a Wednesday a this Monday. year? On a Monday. To Do you like how I know that? I don't know how you know that. <laughs> I look at my calendar so far in advance every day, oh. and it's just like on there oh, for okay. no reason. I I think it would be nice to go to a soup kitchen, and sort of help. That's nice. Uh, yeah, I really I think make a meal and serve it to some people for lunch or dinner, and I I really think that's where we should start heading. I think this um, uh, too much of our society is too involved in how to um. I don't know. How would you say it? Overly indulge yourselves in, in self-pity mm-hmm. and in, in all this kind of nonsense that I'm not doing what the other guy's doing. You really you really have to break away from that kind of thinking and think about the greater good. We've got to get onto a different track now. People are too, getting too selfish and too narcissistic in our relationships, and um, I don't think it's good. What I also feel like is interesting is we're saying – Oh, girls who are single, like, get together with your girlfriends and do an activity. Like, what about the guys who are single on Valentine's Day? Are they going to get together and hang out? Like, do they care? I don't think guys really care about Valentine's Day. I think this is foisted on them by women. (laughs) And and if they're... um, uh, you know, unless the two unless two men are in a relationship, then they have a right to have their own Valentine's Day like everybody else. But if they're two basically straight guys that are sitting around together, they're not going to say, oh, let's have a Valentine's Day dinner. They'll say, put on the television, pass me the popcorn. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know. They probably don't even know it's Valentine's Day. Or they, or they could People really People in relationships very, don't even know it's right, Valentine's Day. They could care very li- uh, little about Valentine's Day. Yeah. I think the basic people who want Valentine's Day are the rose, the people who sell flowers, the people mm-hmm. who sell candy, and the people who sell greeting cards. That's a very big uh, Valentine's Day um, operation. But sometimes people I do, guess you get, get, a gift do get engaged on Valentine's Day. That used to be a thing a, a couple of years ago that people would, you know, they would uh, do it around certain occasions, certain holidays. And Valentine's Day certainly, according to the jewelry when business. Did you get, when did you get engaged? I got engaged on my birthday. Really? It became a national holiday after that. <laughs> but uh, somehow people, you, you know, I think party? the reason why yeah, I got engaged on my birthday was so that in the future my husband wouldn't forget when oh. my birthday is. That's probably a good reason. Maybe. People do things around dates that are important to yeah. them. Yeah. Um, do you think it means something when a guy remembers your birthday? Yes, I think it's a kindness. I think it's very nice. I think I, I think it means that you know they he has some kind of sweet thought about you or no you not even the day of your birthday like if you're if you have a friend or whatever and they're like oh I know your birthday's on this date like do you remember your friend's birthdays no no would you remember people you're interested in's birthdays 
Well, if I was in a relationship with him, I certainly would have written it down in my in my book or my calendar somewhere, so I wouldn't let the day go by unnoticed, and I would hopefully do something special for them. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it, it it is a special day for each individual. Yeah. So it's a nice thing if somebody does remember. Right. It's not the worst thing in the world unless it happens I feel to like be your spouse a thing like or your children. My crush's birthdays, I would always remember them. Okay. Like well why? then you well maybe you were very sensitive to them. That was, that's a nice thing. You have, that's a good part of your personality. And so I know their zodiac sign. Oh, well that, so I can know their <laughs> That's over. That's overdoing it. Okay, let's go through some listener questions. Okay. Someone said honestly we get this question so much. And we've answered it, but it's, what should I feel when my boyfriend is still communicating with a girl he used to date, saying they only ended up as friends? Should I believe him? Uh, We can't answer this question again. (laughs) I mean, (laughs) these people just have to move on. Either move on or trust the guy. It's enough. Don't write that question in anymore. (laughs) Because I think so many people are having multiple relationships. I I don't think anybody trusts anybody anymore. It's very sad. What is trust anymore? Well, that's very sad. If we can't trust somebody, then we cannot have a relationship with them. Trusting somebody is when somebody tells you something and they do it, right? And they follow up on their word. Right, exactly. So... In this case, if they say it's only a friend, then you should trust them. Then you them. should believe it. I, I d- unless you find agree. them together on a date, like, <laughs> and then then goodbye and good luck. Um, advice for single moms. Well, single mom is very important. It, you know, you know, you have to work. You have to uh, take care of your children. It's a very hard job that you have. So uh, I don't have very much advice for them. I just, you know, I wish them well, and uh, I hope they have support of family and friends around them that takes some of the pressure off. Mm-hmm. Um, why do girls not like the nice guy? Well, I don't think all girls. I always like the nice guy. I was never interested in the in the player because those are the ones who end up hurting you and really can't be in a real commitment. You need somebody who really is down to earth and wants uh, uh, really the the same things you want. Um, and usually the bad guys uh, or the bad boys don't want that. Mm-hmm. So it's just what it is. But girls are always attracted to that type, just like men are always attracted to bad girls. <laughs> I mean, it works both ways, but they usually don't end up in harmonious relationships. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're going to do our 1950s movie of the week. We tried to pick something romantic out. It's more fun than romantic. It's a wonderful singing and, and, and dancing in this movie. It got all kinds of awards. It's Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. She's already checked out, guys. She's on her phone. <laughs> it was too much. This was, oh, I should say, we were recording this at 9 p.m. at night. We usually don't do that. It seems like this isn't going to be our go-to time. <laughs> I have to put on my Amazon. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. You know how to follow us on Instagram and TikTok at Excuse My Grandma. And we will see you next week. <laughs> <laughs>